details still very fluid tonight. Our team coverage continues now with Harry Boomer. And Harry, you've been covering this case all week. That's right, Duffy. And until today, we really didn't know what had happened to Lachelle Jordan. We still don't know all of the details, but uh, the whole story will, of course, come out as she feels better about talking about the horrible details what kept Lachelle out of view. Now, the mystery of Lachelle Jordan's disappearance calls an all-points bulletin for information that we hope would lead to find her. She left most of her personal belongings behind last Saturday. There was no trace of her uh, where she had gone like a miracle, and injured Jordan limped into that open pantry convenience store at East 166 in Euclid in Cleveland late last night and called for help. Police and EMS arrived and she was taken to the Cleveland Clinic. 19 News happy to report that she was found alive. You'll never believe this. We just got a call from Michelle Jordan. She says that, like, she's just been insulted. She says she got away from the people that kidnapped her. They tried to burn her alive. We all want to know more about what happened to Lachelle Jordan, especially because so many people got involved in trying to find her. Jordan has been through a major ordeal, and she needs some time to process all of what has happened to her. We should give her some space and time. She'll talk when she's ready, and when she does, we'll tell you what she says. Live at the 5th District Police Station, I'm Harry Boomer, 19 News.